Hey YouTubers, it's the Legend of Jack here, and here we are with another Let's Play Skyrim, and I have decided to do these a little bit differently finally. Um, I'm mostly going to be showing tips, tricks, uh, minor tutorials, and little secrets here and there in the Skyrim world, and uh, that's kind of what I'm going to be doing. So it's not going to be in the Let's Play format um, very much anymore, it's going to be more like a commentary afterwards, but I imagine it will be beneficial helpful and give you those little crucial elements to make your mage overpowered <laughs> or whatever I mean I could end up doing all kinds of things thieves and all different stuff but anyways so I, I did my playthrough um, the first time through and I showed loads and loads of videos and a lot of you were curious about the gear and the customizing the gear um, so I'm at this point where I have my smithing to a hundred and my enchanting to a hundred and I haven't done anything to the gear that I've created so I made some light uh, full dragon armor, it's the scale armor, it's light, and I made a full set of hev heavy Daedric armor. And basically, since I'm going through as a bad character this time, I, I intended on using the Daedric armor, which you see me wearing right here, without any enchantments on it currently. And then I'm going to show you in a tutorial what, enchants what enchantments I used in my last videos. Um, to make it so I can cast major destruction spells or any size destruction spell without using any magicka whatsoever. Um, a lot of you were still curious about that and didn't quite fully understand it, so I'd really like to just show you how to do it. Um, right here in this video, I'm just dancing around with a giant. I killed his buddy already, and I'm just letting him hit me and beat me up a bit to um, increase my heavy armor rating, which goes up quite fast when you're using these giants to do it. Um, it's just a little bit crucial to not mess up, because if he hits you twice before you start healing, then you're dead. Um, but save save all the time while you're doing this. Um, you know, if, it, if your rating goes up twice, then go ahead and give it a save, um, and that way if he does happen to kill you, at least you're still where you just were right before you died, right? Um, and then it brings up your restoration as well. Now, it's not the most common way to bring up your heavy armor rating or the most common to bring up your restoration, um, but I do find it to be beneficial if you can manage it, um, especially in these early stages. Um, you can see it's going up quite fast, and just before I started the video, it was going up, so that was like a full cycle that you saw there. It um, doesn't take that long, and uh, yeah, you'll, you'll find it being maxed relatively fast using methods like this. And you don't have to do it all at once. You can do it for a little while, go away, do, go do some things, and then come back and do it again. Um, and you can do the same with your light armor. I just didn't want to try it with my light armor first against the giant because I didn't know where I stood against him. Make sure that you have a full set on if you're on the master level like I am because he really knocks it out of you. When the game first came out, people thought it was a glitch. You would go flying like 50 meters in the air or something. Anyways, uh, I'd really love to hear what you guys have to say about this. Um, I just wanted to show a quick video um, giving a few tips and tricks and talk about these key moments so you guys could leave some comments below letting me know if you want to see that light dragon armor, scales, or the daedric armor that I'm wearing in here, heavy armor and both or either, it doesn't matter, I can even do both and I'll show you the enchantments on how to make a super overpowered mage. Anyways, I'm Legend of Jack, peace.